you are the one that's fighting this battle. Hallelujah. You are the one that knows just where to hit the target. And we want to thank you right now for what you're doing in our lives, Father. And I, I, I don't think any of us should be running around here not having enough money to pay for different things, Father. That's me talking. Hallelujah. I see where you have kings and queens all in your scripture. So if we haven't done what we're supposed to, Father, just reveal it to us and help us and guide us along the path so there will be finances in this place so that we can help people, so that we can buy food for those that are hungry and we can clothe the naked, not with just one or two things, but we can really make a difference in this earth, Father. So we need the finances. We need what you want to give us to help us in these areas. So we want to thank you for help, strength, joy, peace, and that the enemy Whatever he's stolen from, from us, he have to follow your word. I'm praying your word, sing your word, and, and yank it out of his hand. He has no business having our things that belong to you, our families, or anything like that. And, Father, we stand on your word. We can have no faith without you. You gave us this faith to believe that nothing is impossible for you to do. If we don't have any money, somehow we're going to have the favor. Whatever it is, we sh- there should be no lack in anything that we are doing. So we praise and ask you again to forgive us, have mercy on us, and we ask you to have your way in us. And now, Heavenly Father, I'm going to let somebody else go. I give praise unto you and thank you. Hallelujah. Just just a minute. Um, I don't, just a minute. I gotta, just hold it a minute. Um. Uh-huh. I just want to thank you. Okay, Heavenly Father, I thank you, O oh, Yahuwah, for you have placed our souls in the bosom of life, and you sheltered us from all the snares of the pit and from the violent who seek our souls because we adhere to your covenant. Father, we are trying to adhere to what you have told us to. But they are an assembly of naught, a congregation of Belial, they do not know that from you is, 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 is our firm stand from you, Father, and that through your mercies you, will, you have saved our souls and set it aside for yourself. For by you our course is ordered. You have caused us to, to uh, you have caused them to gather against our souls. So any time when we do something wrong, it is you that cause the enemy to come against us because we haven't done things right. Hallelujah. And then you're the one that that tells him to back off loose and let go. Hallelujah. Because my, ch- my child has passed the test. So I want to thank you for giving us favor. I want to thank you for all the men, women, and, and children that have made it their business and set their heart to follow the path of truth. So I just want to thank you, Father, for anointing us, increasing the anointing in us with understanding and the knowledge that there's nothing impossible for you to do and that we are not, not to ever give up coming to you and knocking on your door and talking to you and telling you over and over again what our needs are. So I just want to thank you, and I just wanted to bless you. And now I'll turn it over to somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm, go ahead. No, no, keep, keep going. Oh, I'm, I'm done. Just trying to say something. Okay, go ahead. Somebody, uh, maybe it was you. Oh, uh, was it? I don't want to go if somebody tried to go first. I don't want to be rude. Okay, did anybody want to uh, try to go first before Bethany? Please do. Okay, maybe that was me. Okay. <laughs> Well, I will go. Um, I have a testimony, um, but first I want to pray for um, uh, my dad. Uh, my mom walked in and told me that he fell um, in a room. Um, oh, he he's okay. Um, my mom just just told me that he kind of hurt his wrist, so just keep him in your prayers, um, Father. Please heal his wrist and and, and be there for him. Um, Oh, yeah. Okay, that's what that prayer was about. Yes. The healing and everything. Okay, go ahead. The second thing is I have testimony. Um, and this will lead into why I'm kind of <laughs> – I've just been really emotionally happy today. Um, as a lot of you know, um, I said that I would be getting my braces off. Um, Get 
but I just wanted to do a little uh, testimony. Um, I've always been embarrassed about my teeth. That, that's always been an issue, and I've always been picked on about it, and I've always, I didn't want to smile. I didn't really want to talk because I was just, I was just embarrassed. I was like, I can't do this. Every time I open my mouth, somebody's going to say something. Well, you know, I, I just felt really insecure about them. Like, just really didn't like it. Um, so years and years went by, and, and it got worse and worse. Um, I probably don't remember a lot, but I'm just going to try to make it a long story short. Um, so I think... I was around, I think it was, Thank you, Father. I can't you? remember. I can't remember the, the age. I, I think I was at least maybe 15, 15, something like that, when I first got my braces. And I instantly felt, I felt better. Uh, and my parents um, have really been helping me. I'm so happy with them. They're the ones that you know, we're, we're paying them off and taking me to my my dentist appointments, and I just felt so good. Like, the more and more the times went, went, went by with my braces and the more my teeth improved, the more my self-esteem um, got better. Um, the more I was more confident in smiling. I was more confident in talking. Um, so today is a very special day for me. Um, I got my braces off, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm, nope, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I am not going to cry. <laughs> Yay. I'm, <laughs> I'm so happy with it. I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, they took it off, and they had me go, go brush my teeth because um, they still had to get, like, the glue and stuff off. Um, I looked in the mirror, I was like, oh, I look like a completely different person. I was just smiling. I was like, I was actually happy to smile. I was like confident. I was like, yes, I can smile. Um, and you know, uh, um, there were some other thoughts that came to my head of, you know, apparently fathers want me to speak to people and he's wanting me to write. And that was another thing. I was like, I don't want to like talk to people like with my mouth like that. You know, it just really affected me, and I and I should have, you know. But Father has blessed me, and definitely has answered a prayer. Um, so now I just have to wear what's called retainers. They're like clear things, and they go over your teeth. So if I talk a little funny, <laughs> that's because I have to wear them. Um, so, but it is worth it. I, I just love that. I, I just wanted to tell you guys, I'm just so happy that I've been happy all day. When I, was in, when I was in a chair and they were getting ready to take the rackets off, I was like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a new chapter in my life, and I, I just wanted to share that. And I also wanted to pray for my uh, dad's wrist. And um, I hope that all of you are having a good night as well. Um, no. Let somebody else say something. Heavenly mm-hmm. Father, we just touch and agree uh, with Bethany about Dad that fell in the room, and uh, we just ask that you just touch his wrist right now, Father. Hallelujah. Uh, and we did. Um, we were praying about bones and things today. I even posted it on Facebook, bones and all those different things. So, Father, we just ask that you restore him. Hallelujah. Uh, right now, Father, in the name of Yahushua, and that you would touch his entire body. Hallelujah. And that you restore anything. If anything is as, uh, not as it should be, we speak restoration right now, renewing in every part of his body and his wrist. And we bless and thank you for his daughter being on the line asking us to pray. We already done ask you, Father, to anoint us with the ability to understand the, the healing anointing that flow through all of us. So thank you, and thank you so much, Father, for Bethany and the braces and the joy and the happiness, and thank you for her testimony. Blessings, blessings upon you, uh, Bethany, for uh, expressing your joy on this, this evening on this line with all of us. Hallelujah, that we see that young people are grateful 
for things that's going on in our lives. So restore Dad and touch everybody in the house, and we thank you very much. Thank you, Bethany, for continuing to be bold and sharing your testimony. Hallelujah. Now, somebody, somebody else can go, please. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you for um, healing that is um, taking place in me, Father, to um, restore my body to um, health and strength, Father. I um, yesterday was just, uh, um, you know, just rested all day and was trying to get myself, you know, have Father heal me and. I uh, woke up this morning, hallelujah, and I, I felt so much better. So I know that healing is, is absolutely taking place in my body, and I just want to thank Father, and I thank you for all the prayers. Um, and I touch and agree with the prayers for healing uh, for all, all manner of illnesses, and whether it be in the mind or uh, in, the, in the body as, as a physical uh, infirmity, the, the ca- uh, cancer, diabetes, heart disease, um, uh, any, anything to do with uh, the pulmonary, w- the lungs, um, all manner of this, uh, you know, gastro and, you know, intestinal issues. Um, I pray that all our systems are functioning uh, the way that Yahuwah designed us to be um, just all all systems are go. And I just thank you. I thank you for the healing that's taking place in little Cassius. Hallelujah. I, th- he is, um, I thank you for the protection that is around him from anything else that may try to come upon him. Hallelujah. And Father, I um, I thank you for the testimony of our dear precious sister Bethany, who um, had her braces removed today. Hallelujah! That is a that's a wonderful uh, gift, Father, and it's a cel- we celebrate this this uh, taking place in her life. And I thank you uh, for her parents' uh, dedication and encouragement and the finances to, to be able to do this, to help her self-esteem and to smile, to, to be able to um, o- really open up and smile and speak to people. And we know that smiles can really make a difference. And so, Father, you're just making a way here. And I thank you and help uh, to, you know, let us, uh, you know, help others, to encourage others uh, to do the same and to, not uh, to be so uh, self-conscious, but it, it is a, it is a hard thing uh, to to go through. I've seen it. Um, I actually worked in an orthodontist office for many years, well, seven years, I believe it was. So I and I wore braces myself, so I know um, kind of firsthand what you're what you're referring to. And I, it's just a I saw. Uh, lives being transformed and and it's just so awesome so i just really rejoice with you today my sister and uh and and beyond and not just today but every day that is a precious gift uh from yahuwah and and i i was um when rabbi when you were praying and uh a couple of verses came to my mind if i can just read those and then uh i can let someone else go but um this was this is from joel 2 20 joel 2 starting in verse 25 and it says i will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten the great locusts and the young locusts and the other locusts and the locust swarm my great army that i sent among you you will have plenty to eat until you are full, and you will praise the name of Yahuwah, who has worked wonders for you. Never again will my people be shamed. Then you will know that I am in Israel, that I am Yahuwah, and there is no other. Never again will my people be shamed. Thank you, Father. And then also this uh, last verse is um, Proverbs 6, verse 31. Yet if he is caught, he must repay sevenfold, though it costs him all the wealth of his house. So, Father, I thank you that you you see to it that we are repaid for what the enemy has stolen from us. 
whether we were knowing or unknowingly giving it over. So we stand in the gap and we say no more that, that the enemy has been caught and we, and our uh, restoration is on its way. So hallelujah and I thank you and I pray all these prayers in Yahushua's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Anyone else? And those that speak in tongues, please uh, mute your phones and continue to pray in the spirit, please. Hallelujah. Anyone else? Hallelujah. 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 I just have two words to say tonight. Thank you, Father. And this is what Father gave me. And it says from him, from Yah. You all have been through the fire, everyone on this line. But I hear the Father saying, you have been through the fire, my children, tonight. And you all are coming out, not smelling like smoke. Um, you all have been through the flood and have not drowned, for I have been with you all tonight. The trials and the temptations which you have suffered were to bring you to a place of my promise tonight. As I prepare you for the harvest that is ahead. This is the season of my greatness, and I have brought forth my right hand to make you all great. As I purge the blood stains out of your walls that have tried to pull at you with iniquity, they have all been removed. As I have justified you in the blood of the Lamb tonight, giving you all the authority and power from above to know the power of my kingdom tonight, the kingdom of heaven, which is coming like a flood. I am sending the tide of my outpouring forth in this hour. And I have put my eyes on the nations tonight. Seeing those who are ready for what is to come. I am visiting the land of America with the brightness of my son, Messiah. Causing her to be like a lighthouse in this hour. As I send a healing rain tonight. A revival rain, a lot of rain. I will cause your lot to be greater than your form of my children. As I move upon you all tonight, causing your entire houses to be saved tonight, bringing in the prodigals, uh, thank you, Father, and giving the riches of faith upon those who are healed from their backsliding, uh, who all are going through tonight. As I open your mouth to prophesy, and I declare my word of truth tonight, says Father, I am the I am the God of greatness. And as my servant Moses saw the knowledge of my glory and worship me, I will open the eyes of the old and the younger to see my glory in his hour. As I move heaven and earth for you all, Everything that you brought to me in secret, everything that you laid on your altar tonight, I am doing a new thing, says Father God. And we all call you Father, some call you Yah. I deny you sure how much she are. Oh, she died. Hell on him. Oh, thank you, Father. He said, whatever you call me, however you call me, I know what your heart is saying tonight, my children. Uh, but I want you to know I am bringing wondrous signs in the heavens, displaying the hour of my greatness and my truth, uh, releasing the increase of my anointing to all of my servants that belong to me, to all of my children that trusted me, to everyone on this line that's standing for righteousness and that are serving me on tonight. I'm going to do a new thing, says Father. My servants who have been humble and have served me, you have not left houses for nothing, but I will repay you in this hour, and you have suffered for my name's sake. And for the work of the cross of Messiah, I will reward you well in this hour, my laborers, my humble ones, my servants, my faithful ones. I am coming to your household. I am going to visit every one of you that's faithful and standing. Everyone in line tonight, give Father praise. Because I receive what you're saying, Father. I thank you tonight, Father God. I know that 
that you perform in a good thing, Father. You say about it that whatever we ask, that we shall receive. So I thank you on tonight, Father God. And I thank you, Father, for unmasking the kingdom of darkness and the shadows that have called marriages to break up, Father God. And have called families to go astray, Father God. Oh, I thank you tonight, Father, what you're doing in all of our lives. And I give your name praise tonight, Father. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, amen. Oh, Hallelujah. faith we receive into our heart and, and spirit the sound of your your voice and we bless you and I think I'm supposed to just go ahead and, and close this this off while Father is still ministering to each one of us thank you my sister for yielding to the spirit of our Father bless you Heavenly Father we thank you. We praise you. We worship you. We reverence you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Blessings on everyone. Hallelujah. Bless you going out. Bless you coming in. May Father's light of his countenance keep shining upon you and May he grant you peace. Now, hold it a minute. I'm... Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to say, does anyone have any, anything to say? All praises, Sister Flora. Mm-hmm. I'm going to make this short because I really don't want to interrupt you, but I just want to thank and praise my father for the restoration of my body and my spirit, for healing me of the uh, pain and suffering I was in yesterday. Um, I thank you for the prayers that went up on my behalf and on the behalf of everyone else who was not feeling well. As soon as I opened up my eyes this morning, I felt the difference within me. And I just want to thank you and thank the Father for hearing the prayers of the righteous one more time. That's all I have to say. Amen. 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 And hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you. That is exactly what I thought this morning when I opened my eyes. I feel better today. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. And I just want to say one more thing. I could be off the mark, but I have a feeling that that prayer that went up from Sister Jackie, Sister Flora, was for you. Ooh. Why would you say that, Father? I don't know. You're, you're not you're not off, Mark. Or I just asked, seeing if Father's going to tell me something through you. 
Oh, okay, okay. He give you a scripture or anyone on the line. I have one. Um, Amazing. Okay. <clears throat> rejoice in Jehovah always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Master is near. Do not worry at all, but in every matter. By prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to Elohim. And the peace of Elohim, which surpasses all understanding, shall guard your hearts and mine through Messiah Yahuwah. For the rest, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is righteous, whatever is clean, Whatever is lovely, whatever is of good report, if there is any uprightness and if there is any praise, think on these. And what you have learned and received and heard and saw in me, practice these. And the Elohim of peace shall be with you. And I rejoice in Yahuwah greatly that now at your last concern for me has revived again, though you were concerned but had no chance. Not that I speak concerning need, but I have learned to be content in whatever state I am. I know what is to be humbled, and I know what is to have in excess. In any and every situation, I have learned both to be filled and to be hungry, both to have in excess and to be in need. And I have strength to do all through Messiah who empowers me. That's what I was given to be with. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Hallelujah. All praises to our Father. Thank you again, um, Sister Jackie, for yielding to Father. He will speak to all of our hearts. And thank you, Sister Bethany, for your testimony and everything. And thank you, Sister Mary and, and um, my, my sisters from, from up north. Thank you all very much. And now we'll close everything off because I know Father want to speak to all of us additionally. And I love all of you all, and and uh, all praises, as my sister would say, all praises. Okay. And uh, Father, I just say this to the sister. Say, she says, uh, "Thank this is for me." Um, I I know one thing that Father always has somebody that he works through. And if it's for me, you're gonna laugh at this. If it's for me, we're involved in everything. So shalom, everybody, and peace and blessings, and and I have to go take this and, and go somewhere and meditate on it. Hallelujah. Shalom, everybody, and we'll keep praying for each other's health, strength, joy, and peace, and hallelujah, and, and keep my brother in your prayers and my son that, that just fell. We don't want anything else to be going on other than that, that wrist. So blessings on everybody, and I'm I'm, I'm going off and... Love y'all. Thank you. Okay. Shalom, shalom, everybody. Shalom, shalom. shalom. shalom.